Hello, I'm Luke Hassan, and welcome to this presentation on detection bias. Imagine you were a golfer wanting to see which of two clubs hit the ball further. You get someone to test the clubs, you spray the clubs black so that the tester doesn't know which club is which, and you blind the tester to the results of their swings. Great, you have now blinded the tester and eliminated tons of bias. But you can still tell which club is which, and you know you like one of them better than the other. Could you still really claim there was little bias in this test? The answer is no. In this situation, you as the assessor would have a large chance of succumbing to detection bias. Detection bias is a systematic error that affects the internal validity of a study through inaccurate recording of the dependent variables or outcomes. This occurs when the assessor, which is the person measuring the dependent variable, knows which intervention the participant received. If the assessor has knowledge of which participants received the intervention and which didn't, the assessor may, intentionally or unintentionally, report that those given the intervention have had the desired outcome of the intervention, or that they have experienced a larger benefit from the intervention than those who were given the placebo. This exaggeration of the results causes the results of the study to favour the intervention and suggests that the intervention is viable, when in reality, the intervention may not be as powerful as the study suggests, or may not work at all. The blinding of outcome assessors is used to combat the problem of detection bias. However, sometimes this is not achievable, like when participants are required to self-report data. This creates a study with ingrained detection bias. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see the Powtoon clip as a movie, follow the link below.